good morning. Uh, I'm rushing around like I'm late for a play. I wasn't intending on getting up very early um, because I've got to get away quite quick this morning. But I thought I'd have an hour. So I left it to normal, getting up at work time time. And uh, I got up, I looked out the window and the sun's making colors on the sky. First time I've seen colors for ages. I've just taken a couple of quick shots, literally as I've jumped out the van and uh, started walking. The color's already going off a little bit, but it might catch again as the sun just rises a bit more and catches the other upper cloud. I did notice a lot of high cloud and uh, I did think, well, that means color, but I wasn't really counting on a lot. So I'm in a rush. Last night I came for a recce and I took some phone snaps and they look really good. And I thought if we get any fog, they'd be brilliant. But as it is, they'd be brilliant as silhouettes against this sky. So I am really in a rush. Oh God, let's hope I can get one or two. I'm coming up on the first tree. I know this is a very, very tall, very, very tall silver birch. And there's color behind it. I just need to get in a position. I've got the long lens on thinking about compressing the background you know making it feel like it's closer to the trees but it's not gonna happen um, but if I go through this woodland yes yeah, go through this wood go through this bit of wood and I can get the tree on the right side I need to be somewhere around here ouch ouch brambles are getting me I need to be somewhere around here I don't even know what I'm stepping on. Yeah, somewhere like that. Brilliant. Oh, right. Let's see if I can get this shot with a bit of colour in it for you. Oh, camera's everywhere. Totally unprofessional, I know, but there is no time to wait about anything. This is real speed. Speed photography, this is. That colour's there. It looks beautiful as it is. Can I get it in in 55 mil? Yes, I can. Perfect. Right, tree, reaching up into the sky. Put it on the roll of thirds, level the camera off. Focus on the tree itself. F10, let's go to F11. No, we won't, let's go to F8. Nice and sharp. Get the ISO on auto, which is 160. Two second timer, hit the button. Little bit of ferns in the foreground as well. Bracketed the shots, orange in the sky, really nice. Let's go for one bang center in the middle because people like them as well. Just so I've got that. Excellent. Right, on to the next one. <laughs> I can see the next one. I just don't know whether I can get in a position quick enough. Uh, through these brambles, let's just whack it through here. This is real time now. I'm not even gonna turn the camera off. I'm just gonna leave it running for 10 minutes and see what I can do. Are we ready? Let's go again. Oh, through this lot. <sighs> Crunch, ouch. Ah. Oh, going through, going through, coming through. Oh, there's a bit of a ditch. I've got to walk through the ditch. Here we go. Oh. Right, I'm through. Right. So I want that one there on its own with a bit of colour above it. Can I get into these trees, into this bush a bit? Of course I can. Let's have a look. Here we go. Oh, Jesus. This is long grass. God only knows what's in here. Oh, what's under my feet? Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay, I don't think I can get close enough. Let me just test it with a zoom. Can I get close enough? Uh, no. And the colour's going off. Right, so got to get back out of this. Back on the path and keep moving. Ooh. Peek. Hoi. Ah, tree. Ah. Are you still with me? You are. All right. Colour's going off really, really fast. Not sure if I can get that last one. Oh, I'm out of breath, I haven't stopped. This one's quite nice though. That's quite a nice tree, let's do this one. I'm just gonna pick on trees. Tripod up in the air. Not too far, not too far, not too far. Tripod about there. Leg down, leg down. Oh, camera back on. Zoom back out. There we go, zoom back out. Let's put it on the 
If you lift the horizon slightly, I don't like that horizon too close. Let's have that dark cloud and that colorful stripe behind it. Focus on the tree, two second timer. Then I'm gonna flip this one round to a horizontal. Let's flip it round to a horizontal like so. Right. Ooh, a bit wider. Oh, we can get that little sparsy tree in the background. Let's do that. I like that. In fact, that's really good. That's really, really nice. Right, focus on the tree again. Just gonna recompose slightly, tighten her up. It's all about the tree and the color in the background. F8, little tree in the background, big tree in the foreground, two second timer. Beautiful, a little bit of color behind it and a bit of a gray sky above it. Right, oh, I'm melting. Next, what can we do next? Camera off, keep moving. Can you see me yet? Let's come back. I don't want to stop the camera, you see. I want to keep it going. Focus on my face. There we go. Right. Cluster of trees there. That tree was nice. I remember that one last night. That was really nice. So let's get a bit closer. Wow. How long are we recording for now? Can't see the screen. Oh, this is definitely a full-on one, isn't it? Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. There's some nice trees that side, but I'm too far away. I need to get underneath whatever colour I've got left. That tree's really cool, but it's shooting the wrong direction. The sky's quite nice, though. Uh, yeah. Come on, come on. Oh, this one was brilliant. I'll get that one on the way back. There's no colour that, that side, but that was a really good tree. That had a nice leading line. Right. I might have to swap my lens over now because I'm getting closer. Wow, isn't this exciting? This is real quick shooting, quick fire stuff. God, it's pinks up in the sky as well. Yee, dear. All good planning, eh? Perfect. We love good planning. Now I know I'm getting close to some of these bigger trees and I want the sparser ones. But we'll see if we can just cut a couple more with that colour. Because the sun, I don't think the sun's come up yet. Give it another five, ten minutes and it'll be up. Oh, jeez. Am I melting or what? I need to get the other lens on, I think, the wider lens. And uh, see if I can pick off a couple of these others. Yeah, see, I'm not sure those ones work. They don't stick up quite so much, but the colours are there. And that sun's lighting the sky again as well. Tell you what, let's try these two. Let's just try these two. Because there's a tall one just here. Where are you? Come back. There's a tall one just here. And again, it might make quite a nice front and back image with some color in the background. So I'm just gonna point it, shoot it. Possibly a 10 by eight, this one. No, because there's some color over to the left. Bracketed the shot. Yep, we got that one. I'm not even gonna test them there's the color it's starting to come out again now so let's see if I can get my sparse one because I've got pink right up in the top of the sky <sighs> flip over the lenses which just so happens to be in my pocket because <laughs> I threw it in my pocket when I put a tripod camera on the tripod let's see if I can get this sparse one with that color and the sky <sighs> oh dear yes I'm gonna get this and I'm gonna end the video and just take some pictures. Yes, we've got lots of color in the sky, beautiful. Beautiful. Let's start somewhere about here. Lots of color. I know I've got to change the lens quick. So, let's flip this round. Undo my belt on my bag. Here we go. Lens is out. Oh, this one's different, isn't it? Because it's attached to the tripod, so that one comes off. That one goes on. That goes on the back there. Uh, not enough fingers. That one comes off. That one goes on. This is how we do it. There's no freaking messing around here. That can go in my pocket. Lens cap off that one. Lens cap on that one. That's in my pocket. Big pockets. Zip it up. Look at all that colour. Right, here we go. Let's see what we can do with this big, this big wider lens. That's more like it. Look at that for color. Let's go up. 
Got a little tree over in there, have a background. Don't want that little tree. That is pretty awesome. A tree on the third. Bracket in because then I don't have to worry about my exposure. Pinks in the sky, oranges on the horizon. And I'm even going to move around a little bit and dump it right in the middle of the colour. Somewhere there. Let's just do a, let's do a left, right. Let's do a left thirds, right thirds. And uh, a left thirds, right thirds. And a horizontal. That is flipping lovely. Why is my tripod lock, leg not touching the floor? Let's go a bit lower. There we go. Right, that is really, really nice. Let's quickly get that one. This one's got a couple of trees in the background. Now we're going left thirds, aren't we? Here, go left thirds. Tighten it up just a bit. What a brilliant bit of colour. Very, very, very nice. Oh, gosh. Right. Don't even know if you can see me. I haven't even looked at the camera yet. You are. You're still on me. Right. Bang. And now we need a... Oh, vertical one because the colour is right up past the tree this is better still I can go in a bit tighter I can pick up all that colour I'm going to go left thirds right thirds again and centre because the colours on the oh yes 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 beautiful 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 really cool can I do another one this side left thirds right thirds that's quite nice there uh, you know what it even looks nice as a centerpiece. What are we on for time? 11 minutes. 11 minutes. Let's put one in the center as well. No, I don't like the center. I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it because I don't want to get home without it. Oh man, magic, 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 magic. Can I get anything else? That is so good. Let me get a phone shot. That is so beautiful phone shot bang <laughs> what about that way around not so sure that way around but that is something else I think we just hang around for this one because the sky is changing all the time move over so I let the colour out next to it this could be the winner this could be the winner you've got cloud coming in clouds going up tree on the left hand thirds beautiful oh, I want to move around and get something else there's none that way um, can I go back I don't want to move that is just too good to move can I get a horizontal let's go back to horizontal because that would be nice as a horizontal let's go back a little bit give me a bit more scope bit more scope what a, what a sky it's lighting up that cloud as well now blimey best little run around video I've ever done excellent absolutely stunning beyond stunning I'm just moving around slightly just trying to get myself in a position where I make it look like it's sparse on its own and it almost looks like there's a, a, a rain cloud in the background. Yet, there's no rain around. That is fantastic. There's colour on the bottoms of that. I'm even going to lift my bracket up just a minute, just to see if I can get a bit more of that foreground. Oh, I might have even been missing the bottom of the tree, and I don't want to be doing that. Crumbs. I'm going to take in a bit more foreground, because we don't want to be missing any of this. What, what a fantastic, absolutely fantastic. You've got to keep shooting because the light's changing all the time. And with the light changing all the time, you don't want to be missing anything. So you keep shooting and keep shooting. And then one of these is going to probably be better than the other. See, I've gone back to a, a vertical, but it's nowhere near as good because the colour's spread out now. But I needed to get that just to make sure very easy with these clips as well there's no messing around you just literally flip the camera from one side to the other wow what about if i take in a couple of these little trees from the background pull in some more of the sky put the sky on the left hand side bring in some of these trees on the right hand side 
what an absolute treat. I'm not sure it works as well. The sun's getting brighter and brighter now and taking the colour away. Now with the trees a little bit more in the centre. A little bit more in the centre, but I've got some trees in the background, giving you a little bit of depth to the image, taking you back to that sky. The lights behind the tree, bring my brackets down as well, and make sure I keep all that sky in. <laughs> can, I, can I get to any others? That's the question in time. Shall I try? I'm up at 15 minutes now. I want to make this video less than 20. Can I get another tree in? I don't even think I want to move because that is just insanely gorgeous. I'm going to show you. Look at this. You haven't even looked at the sky yet, have you? Look at the sky. Look at the sky. <laughs> Look at that. That's the sky for you. That's my tree I'm shooting. How bonkers is that? Right, so come on, let's go. Let's, let's move forward. Let's see if I can get one more tree. Maybe that big tree. Lifting my tripod up, walking while I'm going. See, I like this tree in here last night, but I can't get to it at the moment. <sighs> We're going the wrong way, the sky's the other direction. But I need to get in a position to find the tree. <sighs> Moving around like an absolute crazy man. <sighs> Video's not stopped recording yet, I've still got it going. I must be bonkers. Um, come on, come on, come on. What have I got? Sky's going off. I don't mind. Oh, look at it now. That's quite nice. We've got three or four trees. Three or four trees and some sky. That's quite beautiful. Um, what about if I go, see that one's really cool on its own there. I don't know if I can get that one. Camera's down quite low. So let's have a look at this. It's actually, this makes quite a nice uh, collection of trees. I'm gonna go with a collection of trees and the sky in it, I think. Pull it in a bit tighter. Little cluster of trees on the right hand side. Single tree on the left hand side, skied, and the sky behind it. And again, a brighter one as well. Make sure I get all that foreground in, like that. Oh, and we're moving again. We're off. Right. That's really cool, that tree. All the colour above it. Losing my trees. I'm losing the trees. Right, there's one there. Let's see if I can get that one. I get that one, I'm gonna finish this video. What are we on? We're still under 20 minutes, but I'm not gonna make 20 minutes. It's definitely gonna creep over. This is nice, leading line. This is it. Leading line from the left. We've got a bush and a tree in the background. Can I get this one here? Sky. Uh, sky above it, really, really nice. Bring the tripod up a bit. <sighs> Tripod's up. Okay, camera back on. Let's have a look. Oh, look at the sky above it. We're going to have to go horizontal, definitely. Get this sky in. Uh, vertical, sorry. Vertical, let's go down. Got leading line. Leading line, trees. Swings you around from the left to the right. Keep that sky in. Uh, something like that. Focus on the trees. Let's try that one. Not sure about that one. Sun's just peeking above the trees now. Just above the trees now. I'm not telling, not kidding you though. This is, that's the one I want. Can I get in between this lot? If I can just get that one. Can I climb through this bracken? Is there a track through here? Not really. The sun's just coming up through the horizon. Yeah, there's a gap. Let's go. All right, going through, going through, going through, coming through. Don't step in a bog, keep moving. 
I need to be over near them trees. Keep going through the gaps in the ferns. Gaps in the ferns. Keep moving. I'm talking to myself because I get a bit scared when I'm walking through this sort of stuff because I don't know what's underneath me. Keep going. Keep going. In the long grasses. Oh, long grasses. Oh, there could be a bog or anything under here. There's my tree. I know you can't see me now. There's my tree. There's the sun coming up. Might even get a sun star. Final shot. Here we go. Here we go. Final shot. Right, zoom in. Zoom in. Lots of sky. Horizon level. F8 to start with so I don't miss a shot. Focus on the tree. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. <laughs> F22. Come on, F22. Will I get a sun star? F22. Tiny little sun star. Don't like the sun star, it's too much. Back to F11. Uh, let's bring the camera down a bit lower. Camera down a bit lower, I might get some grasses in and reflection on this light when it comes under. That's better. Right. I'm sorry I'm on 21 minutes now, but I'm not stopping. perfect the sunlight in the background yes lift the, lift the image just slightly got to keep that cloud in didn't want it touching wow 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 all right can i move a bit closer by moving close it's going to put the the tree up in the sky the sun's now behind it i don't want the sun behind it i've got to keep to the right of it i'm now in the fern so i can't really go any further all right that is a beautiful silhouette of a tree I'm gonna to have to be careful on my bracketing on this there's one Sun is on the bottom left and then I lift my bracket up to try and get some of the foreground in <laughs> and this has got to be a horizontal as well it's got to be yeah there she is Got some stunning clouds, very minimal, lots of clouds, colour. Bring the exposure down, get the clouds in. There is a couple of little shrubs in it as well, but I don't care. Exposure up to get the foreground. That's taking me all the way to like three overexposed, so I know I'll get some foreground. The sun's in the image as well. Will it give me a sun star? Should we try another one? There's a little bit of sun star just in the bottom. Not sure I like the sun star. Let's go back to F8, F11. Put the exposure back to clear. Sun's coming up now, so I need to move away from the sun. So let's see if I can go left, left in between the bracken. And I'm definitely going to end this any minute now. There we go, a nice little clear patch in front of me. Oh, beautiful little clear patch in front of me, in fact. And we are going to go as low as we can. I'm going to put it in the sky and take the sun out the side just slightly. The sun's in the bottom corner, just lighting everything up. Here we go. Last one, and then it's going to get too bright. Ready? <laughs> Oh, am I crazy or what? Let's move that sun out. Sneak it in a bit tighter. Lift it up and get that bit of cloud in. I don't really want the foreground in. I just want the cloud. There we go. There's a little bit of cleaning up on this one. Just so I can get rid of some of the little shrubs. Image is leaning. Oh, I just, I just don't even care. It's just amazing. So when I stop this video, because it's now 25 minutes long, I want to say thanks for watching. Don't forget, like and subscribe. Leave us a comment. What do you think about this absolutely frantic morning? Wow, have I enjoyed myself or what? Brilliant way to finish my few days off. Um, yeah, ciao for now. So when I finish this, I'm going to do some B-roll for you just to show you some of these trees and I'm going to overlay it over the top of me speaking. But this is a one-shot video, 25 minutes long. I've got three, five, 10 seconds to say bye. Don't forget, 
hit the notification bell for more videos. Bye! Five, four, three, two, one. 25 minutes. Ciao.